Hey y'all, so I'm in the process of um, transitioning. I was in a um, situation where um, it was a domestic situation that led me here. My time is up. I, I thank God for the opportunity to have been able to be here. Um, I stayed in this small space, this room, these days, with um, my children and I, um, because I wanted to be safe and I wanted to protect them and make sure that they were good. And, um, you know, I'm moving everything out. God's been good to us, great to us. And still is good to us. So it doesn't matter what situation you've been in or, you know, what you've put yourself into, maybe even some things unforeseen, you know, things happen. You never go through things for you. You always go through things for someone else. And um, I just want to share with you guys I will never be back at a place like this ever again. Never. This is my second shelter in my life. I never thought that I would be here. Never in a million years would I have thought that I would be here. I mean, I was going through stuff that I didn't even think that I would even be going through. Um... Just for giving somebody a chance and thinking that they were legit and thinking that they were, you know, who they say that they were. You know, giving a person a chance to be let into my personal space just to be let down again. Um, but that's my story. And I, I've had to go through my own process, my own healing journey. Y'all, I was going through therapy here. I'm still going through therapy, you know, as I as I tunnel through things and you know address things and accomplish things and all that jazz. But um, I will never be I will never be at a place like this ever again. I mean, I will never be out of shelter again. If I am, a, it's gonna be because I'm giving back. And I will never be at a, sorry y'all, I'm putting the window down. And I will never be at a place where I decree and declare my life is going up from here. It's going up from here. God has truly covered me. He has truly kept me, not just me, but he's truly kept my family. And he's truly kept my mind. And he's truly kept my heart. Um, he's truly been been. You know, he's a real kind of God. Like the kind of God that is a man of his word. The kind of God who is faithful. The kind of God who is loving and kind and gentle and patient. Even when we aren't so patient with ourselves. Even when we, you know... Let ourselves down. Let our children down. Have you ever been in a place where you felt you let your children down? You let yourself down. You know, you let God down. Um, I've been to a place where I let God down. In this specific situation, I wouldn't say necessarily that I felt I let God down. I definitely felt like I let my children down. And I let myself down. Because once again, I had put myself in a place unknowingly. You know, to be, you know, in a situation, <laughs> a real kind of situation. But um, I'm leaving here, y'all. I'm leaving here. I'm leaving here. This is where I was sleeping. I was doing videos here. I was doing art here. I was still going, y'all. <laughs> oh my goodness, I was still going. I was still going, and this is for somebody 
You have been through what you've been through. And I'm not crying because I'm sad. I'm crying because the drive that God has given me to be able to sustain myself, to be able to grow, to be able to build, even while I've been here, is so epic. He's that kind of father. He'll give you the peace that surpasses all understanding and the joy that's unspeakable where people are like, oh my goodness, and I've never missed a beat. I don't look like my storm. I might look a little raggedy right now, but I don't look like my storm, you guys. So I'm here to share my story with you guys. If you are in a domestic situation, go. If you are in a situation where you're underappreciated, go. If you're in a situation where somebody's stalking you, go. Leave. If you are jeopardizing your children or you feel like your children will be in jeopardy, go. Don't stay there. God wouldn't want that for you, okay? And um, when you leave, heal. Let God have his perfect work in you. Don't get complacent. Don't get stuck. But understand that God does all things well. And if he can do it for me, if he can cover me and keep me, he can do it for you. There is so much more to this story, but this is just the basics. And I wanted to share. I'm your girl, Danny Warrior from DannyWarrior.com. And I love you guys so much. I'll never be in this place ever again. Take a look around. And I'll never be at a place where I lack anything. I will never be at a place where I'm losing out. I will never be at a place where I quit. Because I was built for this. For you. I was built for this. For my seed. I was built for this. For the kingdom. I'm a kingdom builder. And I'm out here on the front line, y'all. <laughs> Ready for battle. I done been too, through too much. Experienced too much. But I've been too good. I'm out of here, y'all. And I'll never be back here again. I'll never be in a shelter ever again. Ever again. Unless I'm giving back. I'll never be at a place where my my I allow somebody in into the magnitude where I, I, I've been to, to be here. Never again. I decree and declare that that's not just my story, but that's your story. Go out and win. Crown up. Remember, you may have to cry a little bit, maybe even a lot, on your story, on where you've been, on where you're going, on where you want to be. Don't stay in the sunken place, you guys. Don't stay there. Take up your royal place in the kingdom because we have work to do. Crown up, okay? <laughs> I mean, I went from custody battles with my daughters to a relationship that was out of control. <laughs> it got out of control. It didn't start out of control, no. That's another story for a different day. But they weren't who they said that they were. And that was a lesson I had to learn. So get more information. Don't ever just take anybody's word for it. People show you who they are in the beginning. Believe them, you know. And sometimes you you years in before they really really show because they feel like it's it's a it's a fight to get you because they see something in you but they don't know how to handle who you are because they still toxic that's not your fault <laughs> that's personal actually pray for them kick the dust from your feet and keep it going i love you guys so much i'm your girl danny warrior from dannywarrior.com and i'll see y'all on another video Peace.